Before we get into it, I want to make a quick distinction between the types of posters that are out there. Here in Los Angeles, a lot of designers work on key art posters. A key art poster is designed for a movie, TV show, video game. A lot of the time, the style of these posters has to match the art direction that has already been established. Basically, that means you don't have as much creative liberty with your designs. Key art is a little more marketing, a little less design. So for our purposes, I'm just going to show design-driven posters. This poster was for a speaking engagement with Bill Moyers. Bill's work on PBS highlights stories ignored by the mainstream media, like corruption and government. The poster works because it takes an image we all know well and puts a twist on it. Your brain sort of goes, I know this image, I've seen it thousands of times. Hey, wait a minute, something's different here. And when you investigate what's different, you see there's a metaphor in there with the flag going down the drain. This one is kind of similar to the flag poster. Sometimes all you need to grab people's attention is to show them a common object in a way they've never seen before. That's what the designer did here with a ticket stub. We're accustomed to seeing tickets at a small size, and then we're presented with this huge one, and it causes a double take. It's kind of nice how the name of the film festival fits well right there where the movie title would have been on the ticket. Notice the use of color here. The white hat on the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man is surrounded by dark blue, so your eye is drawn to the white. The designer did it this way to let us know what's most important in the scene. The tagline, you gotta get it to get it, simply means if you haven't seen Ghostbusters, you have to get Netflix in order for the poster to make sense. If you understand the reference, it makes you feel like you're part of an exclusive club. Like how my dad feels special because he's a member of Mensa. Also take note that the designer chose to illustrate this scene. If she had used a still frame from the movie or made the scene photorealistic, it wouldn't be as powerful. The details on the buildings and the stars in the sky would be distracting. This illustration shows as little as possible in order for you to get the concept. And that makes it more rewarding once it clicks. This is a series of posters for a travel company. They use negative space very well here. This next poster is somewhat not safe for work, so you might want to take your laptop out into the hallway for a second. Here, all faded in real slow. If you get nervous, just close your laptop real quick. There we go. Stefan Sagmeister is an art director from New York who is known for putting himself in his work. This is a poster he did for an event he spoke at. He had his assistant actually cut the details of the event into his skin. He did this partly for shock value, but also because it served to visualize the pain of the design process. It served the concept. When I first saw this poster, it was shocking. I didn't know that sort of thing was allowed in graphic design. I didn't know you could do that. The next few posters are from a studio out of Chicago called Aesthetic Apparatus. Usually stock art and stock photography are looked down upon by designers because they're too generic. They don't communicate in specific terms. But these guys put their own spin on it. They use the clip art in a knowing way and combine imagery to make something entirely new. The harsh imagery here is appropriate for the post-hardcore band Future of the Left. Here's another poster from Aesthetic Apparatus. The stock image of the camera and clip art of the couples at the bottom are harmless. That is, until you see the title of the band. The type on this is great with that inverted A suggestively placed. Liz Fair is known for smashing stereotypes of what a female artist should sing about, so the inverted A made to look like a vagina makes sense. 